Welcome to Equip to Endure. I'm Rusty, and today we're talking about backpacking sleeping pads. So we're still doing our Christmas giveaway, and as you can see, we're not out in the woods right now. We got some snow, and we wanted to set up a tent because that's another video that we're doing and also demo some of these sleeping pads, and it's just easier to do it. In this area, and for future reference, this is actually the, the next Equip to Endure studio that's getting built out right now, so you're going to see more of this in the future. But anyway, we're breaking it in, we're going to talk about these things. So we've got a couple different products to talk about. So Xbed is a well-known product manufacturer. They make some really cool sleeping pads and you also are familiar with climate. And so Xbed, I met up with the, at the Big Gear Show in Park City back I think towards the late summer. And then climate, we met up with at Outdoor Retailer. And uh, I'll put a link up for the video right up there. So both of these guys sent us out stuff and we're actually including one piece of each to the wilderness kit. We're going to talk through those things. So first off, Xbed sent us two different of their or two different varieties of their closed cell foam pads. So the one that I'm kneeling on right now is this guy. I'm grabbing the box for it. So this is the Flat Mat Plus X, and this one actually jumped out at me because this is very um, thick compared to the one I normally run with. So I, I have in my rig, I have a uh, Thermo Rest, the X or the. Um, the silver side, it's the closed cell one. And then I have the X-Therm inflatable mattress that I put on top of that. Now, this guy is nice and thick. You can see the, the thickness there. And I was just laying down on it. Now, I'm not one to typically just sleep on these closed cell pads. I mean, the ultralighters like to do that. I like to have both. I put these closed cell pads on the ground to kind of, um, uh, they take the wear and tear instead of the expensive uh, inflatable pads that go on top of that. Also, I like it because it kind of removes the unevenness of the ground and kind of smooths out maybe the bumpy areas from rock. So I put that down and then my inflatable on top. But with this one, let me look at this again just to make sure I'm saying it right. With the FlexMat Plus M, I think on a reasonably level ground and not too bumpy, I might be able to just sleep on that because it's thick enough to where it gives me enough insulation, probably three seasons, obviously not just the winter, but that might be good to go just as it is. So then let's talk about the, I think this one is, yeah, the long and wide mat, the flex mat, long and wide closed cell. So that's this guy. Now this is closer to the thermo rest that I have. Thinner, much thinner, you can see, let's actually compare these side by side. You can see on that profile how much thicker the M is than the LW. So this, again, very lightweight, very wide. Now one thing I did notice when I laid down on these, so I am six foot, about 200 pounds, and for this guy on the M, if you can get this, it's actually, you know what? I'll see if we can do this. I'll try to scoot right towards you. Whoop. It seems like it's just about my shoulder width where I'm at, and so my arms tended to drip off to the side. So for me, this might be a little bit tough to use this only as a mat unless I had something else holding me in. But uh, again, it's lightweight and it's compact. Whereas the LW has plenty of space. Let me see if I can do that same thing with this guy. Whoop. So you can see that this gives me, ah, let's do that. So you can see that covers up my shoulders completely and I don't have to worry about my shoulders or arms falling off the side of that while I'm sleeping. So those are the X beds. Now here's what we're doing. For the Christmas giveaway, we are going to put the M in with the Christmas wilderness kit giveaway because we're going to include something else to put on top of this, the inflatable. So let me set these aside. And now let's take a look at the climate. Now, in that video that I had referenced earlier, uh, this actually really caught our eye when Chris and I were walking by the climate booth. We saw this and we're really impressed with it. So let's go ahead and open this up. This was this brand new one and we'll show you what we're excited about. So this is the regular size one, this guy. And then this is the extra large, which is right here. 
and we're gonna open this up, blow it up, and show you what it looks like. So let's get the XL out of here. Okay, so it almost has a compression sack type enclosure here, so you unbuckle it. Again, this is my first time, everybody, so be patient. Okay, another buckle goes across. Oh yeah, I remember that. Them showing this at the uh, the event. That makes it a lot easier to roll up instead of trying to stuff, stuff it down the tube. Nice feature there. Okay, so then there's the Velcro strap. We'll just undo that. Make sure you keep that handy when you undo it, if you want it. Comes with the patch, obviously, for repairs. Okay, and then you roll this guy out. And when I do it, oh man, you can already feel it. It's so nice because they have that, that memory foam. I think it's a thin layer of memory foam that is made right in to that sleeping pad. So let's get this thing blown up. All right, let's give this baby a whirl. That is already so much quieter. So the one that I have in my rig currently is the uh, Thermarest X Therm. Really, really warm, really nice, but it is so crinkly. It's like a potato chip bag when you sleep on it. This is already way quieter. The, oh yeah, okay. All right. That's pretty nice. All right, this is Chris's son, Will. He's trying it out. Will, what do you think? Is that comfortable? Yeah, it's really comfy. You think you could sleep on that? I'd say yes. Excellent, thank you. Okay, what do you think? Comfy on your side? Yeah, it's pretty nice. So I do two pads when I go backpack. One reason is this, this weighs basically nothing, and I find when you stack them that it just makes it that much more comfortable. So let me try that. Where's the top? Right there. Yeah, I would have zero problem sleeping on that. That's way comfortable. Let's try the side. Boom. Yeah, so what I'm looking for is if I'm sinking in any specific spots or getting, I'm touching the ground anywhere. And again, that's another reason why I have that secondary pad is even if it is cold or icy, and even if your inflatable mattress is dipping all the way, you're not going straight to the ground, you're hitting that secondary pad. That's very comfortable. So, with all that, we talked about x -Ped, so we're gonna throw in this guy. This is going to be in the wilderness kit giveaway, so this will be the ground level of your, your sleep system, the mat to go underneath. And then we're also gonna put this guy in there, which is really nice. These are a new product. Um, I don't know the price off the top of my head. I think they're between 100 and 150. Really, really nice. I like this one. I might want to switch out my, uh, I think I am going to switch out my Xtherm for this. So this is going in the wilderness kit for our Christmas giveaway. So let's go ahead and recap everything that's going in. All right, this is actually a pretty neat little feature. Now on mine, it takes a, I was trying to deflate it the same way I do on mine, but this has almost a little rocker action in there where when you press this guy in, it has a rapid deflate. It flips this yellow guy. Let me make sure I'm lining up right. So it just opens that nozzle right up. You can see it rotate, and then this thing deflates pretty quickly. Pretty impressive. I roll it from the bottom up to get all that air out. that air out, flip that back. Very nice, I like that. All right, we're just gonna roll it up, get it put away. So this system that they came up with to put the pad in, now I should have been paying attention more to when they demoed it, but it looks pretty, pretty self-explanatory. So we're gonna fold this guy. It looks like the crease had it folded inside like this to protect that foam side. So we're gonna fold it like this. Yeah, that's match it up. Let's flip it over. There we go. I'll just roll it from the side. Okay, so let's open that up just to get that last bit of air out. Okay. And then you just set it in. 
wrap this guy over. I think that's all we do. Where's the other side of that buckle? Boom, boom. Okay, so that snaps shut. And then these caps just roll over. Yeah, that's nice. So the benefit there is on other sleeping pads, on inflatable ones, you really have to get that thing wound up tight in order to slide it down into that, into that tube that it comes in that container. But this helps you compress it as you do it. So a little more forgiving, maybe a little, uh, a little faster put away. That's it. So this guy and this guy going in the wilderness kit. So let's recap. I'm going to start with the EDC kit. So this is the VanQuest Addicts 25 donated to us by our friends over at VanQuest. Really, really nice bag. For the blade in this kit, we're throwing in the Giant Mouse Knives Riv. This is the titanium blackout version. Really, really nice knife. Like I said before, this has become my EDC knife, the same model, just not in the cool blackout version that you're getting. And then we also threw in some Ignic hand warmers, foot warmers, toe warmers in there for you. There is the Titan Survival sleeping bag, like emergency blanket style. The dude wipes for when you gotta answer nature's call. We got a nice um, Yuko fire starter there. 100 foot Hank of the Survivor Cord XT from Titan Survival. This is a thousand pound um, weight. Max, I don't know what am I looking for? Tensile weight, whatever we call it. It's a thousand pounds instead of 550. And then VanQuest also sent us these fat packs to give away. This is great for a medical kit to throw in here. And then obviously the really, really cool Vargo titanium para bottle just for you in this kit. So this is the EDC kit. Let me go ahead and get this put away. I'm a big fan. I think I might want one of these addicts bags myself. Now for the wilderness kit, this is the Kelty Red Wing 50. Now this is actually my personal bag right here and you can see the similar setup. So this is the newer version and in it, we threw in the Council Tool 28 inch Velvet Cut Boys Axe signed by Craig Roost himself with the really nice leather sheath and sling. And then we are also putting in the Agawa Canyon Boreal saw. Now this is the 24 inch. And in that video, I'll put a link right there. In that video, we show this one, the 24 inch. And I mentioned that in my kit, I only have the 21 inch. So I have a little saw envy, but here's that right here. Just uh, for proof, there's my 21. And that's what I run with in my pack. Okay, so that. We also have a 100 foot Hank of the Survivor Cord XT. Some dude wipes, the really neat Vargo titanium bot with bowl that goes with. We've got another fat pack for your medical kit. We've got, this is the hanger that comes with the bot. And we also have the Fiddleback Forge bear paw that comes with. So you've got your trio, you've got your saw, your ax and your knife in this amazing kit. And I think, oh, oh, we have one more surprise. So these are two different prizes, the wilderness kit, as well as the EDC kit. Now those are huge prizes, but we thought we'd throw in a small third place prize as well. So this is the budgie by Buck Knives. I'll put a link to the video where we talk about this one, but this will be for third place. So you've got some decent chances for winning a really cool prize. All right, everyone, so this is the Wilderness Kit. That's the EDC Kit, and then we're gonna give away that knife to the third place as well. So go ahead and head over to equippedendure.com slash Christmas if you haven't done so already to put your email address in to enter for the giveaway. We've got one more video for this series where we're gonna show the, the main shelter component of the Wilderness Kit, and then we'll also announce when the deadline is to get in for it. So again, awesome Christmas giveaway. We'd like to thank Xped as well as climate for throwing things in for the giveaway. And until next time in Omnia Paradis.